you know, all of us as fathers, you know, we, we're trying to do our utmost best to, to be there for our kids, to connect with them. Um, sometimes it's, it's so difficult though, right? And, you know, when I see you with your kids, you know, they, they, they really seem to love and connect with you. Um, I even believe you, your, your oldest daughter, she, um, she, she inscribed to join, join this webinar with us. Um, you know, what's your, your secret or what have you done over, over time that, that made you be a good dad to them? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, of course, I wanted to be the best. I wanted to have the best for my children, and I, I want to teach them how life is, how life can be. And I want telling them examples, and, and I'm, I'm guarding them, and I'm telling them to go left, tell them to go right, and I, I wanted to explain to them why, and I want to, if there is time to explain, and I want to make. The best of them and the the the, you, the children they see how you go along with problems and how you solve and they copy it because Serena and Philippi my son they they sometimes they are exactly me with how they act with things it's funny to see <laughs> yeah exactly um I actually I want to tell you this story because I remember it really well as well as when you came to pick me up from the train station and you had your son, and I think at that time he was like five years old or something, and we were sitting in the car, and he opened the window and stuck his head out and started um, calling to this girl, to these uh, girls that were like, I can't even remember, 20 something, and he was like, hey, pretty ladies, can you come over here? I wanna talk to you. And I was like laughing, and I'm like, that's so, what, what he learned from his father, no fear whatsoever, none, and just, you know, in a polite way, not rude, nothing, but Very respectful. Because otherwise, if I hear the story, I think already it's wrong to open a window while we are driving, but we were not driving hmm. because then I would get angry. So we would chill. But he was talking with me, Cornelia, that's possible on, on a funny way. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely. It's one of the things also that I remember. It was absolutely hilarious. But I was also looking at the kid like, that's amazing. At that age, to be so fearless, to, to have such confidence, to just talk while most of us, you know, we're so scared of what uh, somebody else is going to think or say or how they're going to respond. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, but it's also um, sometimes causes problems. Like you are talking with me one hour now. I could put Philippi on the stool and he's 11. He would talk with you the same. He will uh, also in English he, because he... It's unbelievable, mm. and uh, it's yeah. By your way, it's funny, and by sometimes, many times for me, it's also funny. But sometimes, easy children, let them be children. He he, he wants he knows too much about life already. Hi. Last last month he, uh, he, in school, he, they gave him sex lessons about you know uh, flinders in the bug. How do you say this in English? Butterflies in the stomach. Yeah, butterflies in the stomach. That, that's how they teach the little children how, how about sex and what's going on and uh, education. But Philippe, <laughs> Philippe didn't, didn't know. <laughs> Philippe knew there are no butterflies yet about sex and this and that. And unbelievable that. <laughs> so that but in that way, he, he is. No, you may know too much already. Hmm. Did it get him in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. He is, he, is, he is telling the teachers how it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like his father. No <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I would have loved to be here. That would have been so Yeah, annoying. yeah, yeah. But, but you would love to be also the next time we were at the swimming at the swimming pool with me, with my with, uh, friends of mine, the, the woman with the, with the two, two children, one girl from 13 and one boy from six. And every time I hear the guy, the, the, the Bob, Bob Meister, how do you say this? And uh, the lifeguard. The lifeguard, thank you. The lifeguard was, every time he was whistling, <laughs> of course, to the children, uh, Philippi and the other guy, uh, 
they were doing something, trying what they could do, yes, and what they could do. And then it was really quiet. I couldn't, I, didn't, I, I think, hey, where are they? Because I don't hear anything anymore. Then I go, look, they were playing on the, on the playground, where they were sitting on the machine, they were chilling. I said, what are you doing here? Um, yes, this girl, we are chilling. Yes, I feel, we are talking, we are chilling. I said, what is, um, what are you talking about? Yes, Philip say, um, I'm explaining the small boy from six about this, uh, this butterflies and the sex lessons. <laughs> yes, really. I said, and then I, I said, no. I said, she, Philip, come here. And I had, to, I had to explain to him that he cannot do this to a boy, a little small boy from six, five, six years old. Oh, when I went to the mother and I say, look what happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> no, not about butterflies. He was telling other stories. <laughs> Explaining him how life, how it is in life. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. So how are you feeling? Yeah, you very very happy, happy me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that, that would make me so embarrassed. But you told the mother, right? I mean, that's impressive too. He told what? No, that you explained it to the mother of the of the six year old. Yeah, but she, and she know and she knows me, she's my friend, and she knows also Philip and she she said, yeah. And then it, it, it was okay, but if you uh, to tell the story, it's uh, unbelievable that a boy a boy from eleven is given six lessons to somebody from six. Somebody from five, six who's play with his car or do with his <laughs> they, 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 they cannot talk about it. It's unbelievable. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. That's hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. I, I still don't hope it's going to happen with my son, though. <laughs> but anyway. I let, I let Philip let, let him make a new uh, um, agreement, a new uh, offer with you, appointment with you. That sounds so for good. One hour. He can come over and explain to my kids. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now you won't be at <laughs> No. They, 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 they will be too smart. They, no. they will be on age, like Phil is 11, but he knows about 17, 18 mm -hmm. already. That's uh, that maybe my mistake, but sometimes you have an uh, advantage about things and sometimes you have negative things. To, uh, no, absolutely. But that's the good part about being a father. No, you know in advance that we're going to make tons and tons of mistakes. So. <laughs> Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Exactly. Are you still meeting up with your friends now that you're a father? Kids making you stress out. You got no time for yourself to work out, read, or relax. Can you still remember the time you were hanging out with your friends, feeling energetic, happy, and confident? Spending time together and talking about your life and your crazy dreams. You're feeling alone now, don't you? No one to share your challenges with, and you're just running around from one storm into the next. Well, it's time to change this now. Join me and the Brotherhood of Fearless Fathers to speak on a weekly basis with like-minded dads to crush your challenges, face your fears with determination, be held accountable, and regain control of your life. If you want to become the hero your family needs you to be, then go to becomeafearlessfather.com slash brotherhood. Looking forward to seeing you on one of our next calls.